Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today we're going to talk about exporting Project MIDI. There's a few different reasons why you might want to export MIDI from Reaper. If you have another program like Guitar Pro or something else that uses MIDI files, you might want to export so you can move it into the other application. Another reason, and the reason that I primarily use it, is to be able to export tempo maps and markers to share with another user. And those MIDI files can be imported into another Reaper instance or to another DAW. Let's take a look. The project that I have in front of me is a blank one. We'll just use this as a starting point. Our default tempo is 120 beats per minute. So let's say that at measure 4, I want to change to 150 beats per minute. If you click on Insert, there is an option to insert a tempo or time signature change marker. The default key press for this is Shift-C. By clicking that, I can set my new tempo, and let's just say that we'll set it to 150 beats per minute. At measure 8, I'd like to change my tempo to 175 beats per minute, but also change to 6-8 time. I'll press Shift-C on my keyboard, change the tempo to 175, and change my time signature to 6-8. As you can see, I've now got two time markers up here, one changing from our default tempo of 120 beats per minute to 150 beats per minute, and then to 175 beats per minute at 6.8. Let's finish up our song at measure 11, and we will switch back to 120 beats per minute at 4.4 time. So I now have my tempo markers across the project. Let's also add a few markers. If you're not sure how to add markers, check the link above to see a brief tutorial. At measure 5, I'll insert a marker. We'll call that Chorus. And at measure 7, I'll add another marker and call that Verse. So we've got our song with our markers to keep track of the different sections, and we've also got our time changes. Since this is a blank project and I don't have any MIDI on the project, I'll need to insert a blank MIDI item. I'll create a track and give it a name, then make a time selection. Make sure that your time selection is as long as the project. I'll carry this out to measure 13, and then with my play cursor at the beginning of the project, I'll click on Insert, New MIDI Item. And that has given me a MIDI item that is the length of the project but is blank. In order for this to work, you'll have to have MIDI up until the end of the project. So I'll open the MIDI file and go to the very end and just add a note. It doesn't necessarily matter what note it is, the important part is that you have some MIDI, otherwise your export will not be the full project length. Now that I've got that done, I can export my project MIDI by clicking on File and Export Project MIDI, which will bring up this dialog. In this case, I only want to do the selected track, and it will be the entire project. Now it's important that you check mark the option below to embed project tempo and time signature changes. Also, you'll want to export project markers as MIDI. In most cases, you can leave the markers radio button selected, but certain DAWs require cues. Let's place that in a directory where I can find it, and I will export it. Now let's open up a new project, and if I go to where I had saved my MIDI file and import that into Reaper, I'm now presented with a dialog to ask what all I want to import. So I'll import the tempo map and also import the MIDI markers. And as you can see, in our new project, I've got my tempo markers exactly where they should be. There is my change to 150 beats per minute. There is my change to 175 beats per minute in 6-8 time. And I also have my markers imported, both on the MIDI file and directly in Reaper. Hope that helps. If you like the content that you're seeing, be sure to click the like and subscribe button and share with a friend. Also, you can buy me a coffee using the link below. Thanks.